Hello, I'm Father Ed Hendricks, pastor of Divine Mercy Parish. Welcome to our Wednesday Reflection. I'd just like to share with you some exciting things that, that have happened and are happening in Divine Mercy Parish this week. First of all, last Sunday afternoon, we had a Zoom meeting, which is an online meeting, with our confirmation candidates and their parents. We have 14 young people who are preparing for, begin their preparation for, for a sacrament confirmation. Also on that uh, meeting was Margie Myers, our Director of Mission, uh, Francis Ann Shaw, who's Director of our Confirmation Program, Joy Wilton, the Confirmation Program, and two young people who are who were confirmed in past years who will be um, acting as peer ministers. Uh, we had a wonderful meeting. Um, at this point, we do, do not know the shape of our future meetings in terms of we know whether we can get back together in person, but for the time being, we will use Zoom, our, our online meeting, as a way to connect with our confirmation candidates. Confirmation will be sometime next April or May in, in 2021. Um, so please keep our confirmation candidates in your thoughts and prayers as they begin this journey of faith, as they begin this preparation time uh, for the sacrament of confirmation. Uh, secondly, um, tonight, Wednesday, May 6th, uh, we're hosting a Zoom meeting for parents um, in, in our parish. Michelle Brinsfield, a parishioner, who's a licensed social worker and a counselor, and Michelle works at um, Frostburg State University in the Counseling Center. Um, we'll, we will do an online program with Michelle to share with parents some of their concerns um, about what's going on and also how, how to deal with, at times, their children who are probably climbing the walls uh, from being at home for so long. So if you wish to be part of this, uh, please contact Margie Myers. Uh, it's margaret.myers, M-E-Y-E-R-S, at archbalt.org, that's A-R-C-H-B-A-L-T.org, if you wish to be included in the uh, in tonight's program. Uh, we have to uh, sign people in, so the easiest way to do this is to contact Margie if you wish to be part of this program. It runs tonight from 7 to 8 o'clock p.m., and I would encourage all parents to be part of this. It should be a very informative program. This is, this is Michelle's a parishioner. She's been very involved in our parish for many, many years. Also, if you'd like to offer prayer intentions at our um, Sunday Masses, we invite you to call Camilla Raw or contact Camilla, Camilla Raw by email. Her information's on our webpage. Um, as you know, every, every Sunday at Mass, uh, Deacon Harold will announce during the intercessions, we're praying for those in, whose intentions are listed in our parish book of prayers. If you wish to have a name added or intention added, call Camilla, she'll write it in the book so when Harold says that phrase, in the um, in the mass, you'll know that your intention is included, and you'll see the prayer the uh, prayer book uh, on the um, front of the, the pulpit. So again, please contact Camilla. And this is every week, so we'd like you to consider um, um, giving us your intentions. We can fill up our prayer book, our intention book, um, for mass every every single Sunday. Also, we'd like to invite you to be part of, uh, in a more active way, our Wednesday reflection. If you have a question or a topic you'd like me to discuss or answer, please contact either myself or Allison Lyons, um, and we will go through the questions when we can. And this will be a regular part of our, of our Wednesday reflection. Allison's email is allison.lyons, again, archbalt.org. That's A-R-C-H-B-A-L-T dot org. We thank you very much for joining us today for our reflection. And again, we would like you to uh, share with us some topics or questions that you have uh, that we can, we can address. Uh, may God bless you this week. We invite all of you to please stay healthy and safe. May Almighty God bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.